Hi, I'm Mr. Emil, and I'm your best friend in the whole world. Everybody loves me at the office. <laughs> hey, hey, e Emil, thanks for that link with those kittens playing tennis. <laughs> I just had to send that to Mavis in accounting. <laughs> riot, riot! <laughs> <laughs> You got it, pal. See what I mean? I'm quick, I'm to the point, and practically unbeatable when it comes to sharing information. I don't see why anyone would even need to go to a meeting with me around. <laughs> I'm Mr. Meeting. I know I'm not as popular around the office as Mr. Email, but let's face it, sometimes you need me to get your projects done faster and more efficiently. Mr. Meeting? <laughs> He's so passe. He takes hours of sitting through, three hours of your week just splash down the drain. I just want to get to work to accomplish something. Well, how do you know what your priorities for the project are? You can ask the team leader, while everyone else may have the same questions, and can hear the answer at once. And, don't you want to see where your everyone else is on the project? Maybe if it turns out some of your co-workers have accomplished their tasks, they might be able to help you. I... Yum, yeah, okay, that last part, well, that actually sounded pretty good, but... And how are they going to find out about me in the first place? Mr. Email, that's where I can actually use your help. Oh, you want my help? Well, um, that's actually quite nice of you. What, um, what is uh, this week's meeting about? If you can believe it, it's actually what we're talking about right now. What are the advantages of emails weighted against meetings? Oh, we've started the meeting already? Well, again, this is where I need your help. Using a quick, short email, we can tell the team members what to expect in the meeting and why it's important that they attend. I was thinking about using this chart. Tell me what you think. Okay, okay, you got a nice looking chart here of advantages and disadvantages. Good breakdown. I see my advantages are the ones that we already talked about. I'm quick, I'm concise, but uh... But, when you have a team of people that are working toward a common goal, and an important decision needs to be made quickly, what happens when you see one of these? <laughs> yeah, admittedly, I hate seeing those myself, especially when I want an answer right away. <laughs> and sometimes, accidentally, you might just slip. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Oh, oh my gosh! What, what, what is this awful place? How did I get here? Sorry, Mr. Email. It looks like you've slipped into the spam folder. Ugh, that doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> You're right. Oof, doesn't smell so good either. Hey, I'm important. Let me out of here. Hey, help. What? Why aren't they listening? <laughs> That's another big point I'm trying to make. When you have so many emails, sometimes it's too easy to ignore them. And going back and forth like a couple of kittens <clears throat> playing tennis, when answering questions via email, my cost an extra day or two, even longer on an important deadline. With a 20 minute meeting and all the team members in one place, everyone can participate in the discussion, everyone can get critical questions answered right away and move forward with the project. Yeah, it does get frustrating waiting for emails when somebody's on lunch or away from their desk. With a short meeting, we can meet, ask questions, make the calls and move on. Look, Mr. Email, we're both about communication, but in order to get our projects done efficiently, we have to work together, as a team. Okay, Mr. Meeting, maybe you're not so bad after all. If you can keep yourself 20 minutes to, oh, just under an hour, we might be able to get along. <sighs> all right, as long as you promise not to send me any more of those tennis playing kitten links. <laughs> you got it. Um, what about giraffes playing street hockey? 